Hello, all my Aries friends. Uh, Happy New Year to you. I've got your January forecast right here. And I would like to suggest that if you have not had a session with me on finding your life mission, you might want to do that to start off this new year. It's a face-to-face Zoom session. You will love it. Everybody loves it because it helps you get straight on why you are here. And if you're ready to revamp your story, you know, the Groundhog Day story that seems to run your life, you are ready for my Take Back Your Life session. All the information for these two sessions is on my website, maxinetaylor.com. All right. Let's look at your gorgeous forecast for January 2022. I'm saying it out loud so that I develop a neural pathway for it. Um, We know that Mercury is going to go retrograde on the 14th, and it goes back and forth um, from, from Capricorn into Aquarius and back into Capricorn again. And I'll talk about that in just one second. And then Venus is retrograde and it will go direct on the 29th. So we have this Mercury Venus tag team going on. And this means that things are totally confused. You are not going to start a new project under a retrograde Mercury or a retrograde Venus. Venus rules love and money and beauty. And when it goes retrograde, it feels like a double retrograde Mercury when we just seem to lose our minds. Everything goes crazy. Uh, It's a time to revamp, to tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects, not to start new ones, okay? And my suggestion is that you, if you haven't watched uh, the video on the January overview for all 12 signs, that that, you might want to pause this one and look at that one first, because I've gone into detail on this. Okay, let's look and see, first of all, the sun, the giver of life, the center of our life. It starts off in your 10th house of leadership, uh, of career, and puts you in the lead spot. I love that. On the 19th, it moves into the 11th house, which is the humanitarian house. It's the house of friendship, the house of groups, group activities. 10th house is your career, your public image. Um, And so you move from, you move your the center of your life from your career into your friendship circle. And it might be that you become involved in a philanthropic organization. That would be lovely. It will uh, help you express the humanitarian within you. Okay, Mars, the red planet, action. Wherever Mars is, that's what we fight for and fight with. It starts off in your ninth house of your principles, your ideas, uh, long distance travel and communication. Uh, you you are in a, in a sweat to get out of Dodge. You know what I mean? Keep your passport handy. We just don't know about transportation quite yet, okay? Hopefully, In January, there will be more uh, flights available for international travel or just plain old long distance travel. Um, You'll find that you will fight for your beliefs. You'll fight for your principles. Cool, cool. On the 24th, Mars moves into your 10th house of career. And when Mars is in the 10th house, this is you moving upward. expressing your ambitions, perhaps moving into a new leadership slot, but nothing stops Mars. And so you're going to take your principles and put them into action in your career. How lovely. 
I love this. Now, Venus is retrograde in your 10th house. Um, wherever Venus is, that's what you love. You love your career. You love being in a position of leadership. Um, you're, you're, um, you shine as a leader with the sun and Venus in your 10th house. Um, even when Venus goes direct on the 29th, it's still in your 10th house. And so if you're offered a, a, a raise and um, an advancement, consider it after the 29th. Now, Mercury goes back and forth and back and forth. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. Back and forth between your 10th house of career and your 11th house of friends. So there may be groups uh, involved with your career, uh, study groups, um, department groups. Your career and friendship are both triggered. And it's not until Mercury goes direct next month that things will kind of simmer down. But they're unsettled until then. So with Venus and Mercury, both retrograde in your 10th house, there may be a hurry up and wait tone. That's okay. That's okay. You don't wanna start a new career uh, position with Venus or Mercury retro. And Jupiter, the great benefic, is in your 12th house of behind the scenes activities. It, what, um, Jupiter blesses wherever the house where it, where it's at, and the twelfth house is the subconscious. This means it, you'll have you can have some very beautiful dreams. Number one, number two, you just want solitude and privacy, and that's a good thing because you've got so much going on in the public eye, in a position of leadership that you just want to be alone. Do both. All right. Okay, the new moon on the 12th, uh, on the second, excuse me, is in your 10th house. And that's when the career activity begins. You will find, however, that with Mercury and Venus retrograde, I keep coming back to that because they just confuse things that it's time to revamp uh, your leadership position in life. Super. And the new moon starts the energy flowing. The full moon is on the 17th in your fourth house of home and family and real estate. And so if you have any dealings with family members, uh, are you thinking of moving? Are you building a house? Are you selling a house? Um, anything that deals with homes and family and families. That's when things come to a head on the 17th. So happy January. And join me next month when once again, I take a look at your forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.